Hey there everyone, it's Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus drydocks.com. And this video is made for those of you who uh, own or are thinking about owning the 177th Disney Nautilus model kit that we recently re-released. Now one of the features of these new kits are these um, optically clear acrylic windows. Now the old versions were vacuum formed and they were kind of hazy and wavy and they really blocked a lot of the beautiful details that you can put inside the boat. These do not. Um, like those vacuum formed parts, you need to cut out the excess. I'm going to show you an easy way of doing that with a handy new tool that I've created just for you guys. All right, so it is absolutely possible to um, trim these out without these tools. So if you don't have one, please don't panic. You can absolutely do it yourself. These are gonna make the job a little easier. And for those of you that already purchased the kits and are, are gonna get grumpy that you aren't gonna have one, um, I'm gonna make these available for free. You just pay for shipping. I'm gonna have them on my website and uh, they're gonna make your job a little bit easier when it comes time to cut your windows out. Uh, for those of you that haven't purchased your kit yet or are waiting on one, it will be included in the kit from this point forward. Here's the idea. So we've got two areas that these domes are used. There's the wheelhouse uh, itself and then the salon uh, area right here. And as you can see, these windows are like too big. They don't fit as they are. And that's, uh, that's proper because these are pure half spheres but the parts that uh, we want to end up with are, are hemispheres. They're going to be partial domes, so we're going to need to trim some away. And that's applicable both in the salon and in the wheelhouse, which uh, kind of looks like that would look pretty silly, very frog-like. Um, so these are going to go on the inside. Now, what I've gone ahead and done is made these templates. These are cutting templates. I'm going to start with the salon area and you basically just put this directly over the piece take your hobby knife get it right up under the edge and you're just going to trace along the bottom just like that i'm going to spin this around so i can get to the other side And it doesn't matter if your knife slips and you gouge up this bottom part because that is all basically garbage. Uh, anyway, we're going to be cutting it off. All right, as you can see, we've now got a complete perimeter around there. This is the part we want. This is the part that we do not want. Now, uh, don't be tempted to cut it this way. We want to cut it this way. If you cut it this way, uh, it'll still work and it'll slip in. Uh, however, you're going to see sort of a white perimeter around the outside, which is the thickness of the acrylic. It's going to be much better to cut it this way. So what I'm going to do, uh, typically what I would do, because my shop's fairly well set up, I would actually use my bandsaw and uh, cut this out this way. I'm going to do that with this piece. I'm going to show you how I do that. For this one, I'm going to do just my rotary tool. And uh, you're going to need one if you're going to buy one of these kits. You're going to need to get a rotary tool. I've got a little cordless one. It's a Dremel. Uh, looks just like this. So phase one, let's move over to the, uh, the bandsaw. We're going to cut this thing out. All right, as I mentioned, we are not going to cut this way. Don't be tempted. We are going to cut it this way. And I'm going to leave a little bit extra just in case I fudge and I, I don't want to cut in there too much. And we're going to clean it up with a little sandpaper after. All right, now we got this kind of nasty chewed up looking deal with big gobs of plastic on it. But those, fortunately, just pick off like this. Now we're going to grab some coarse sandpaper clean it up make it look perfect all right I'm going to show you what we've got here because you can actually see I've left it's like a 16th of an inch all the way around the outside there so I did not go too far now we're going to fine-tune it 
just using some coarse sandpaper. Now, this is obviously a belt sander, but if you just take a coarse piece of sandpaper, put it on a flat surface, make sure it's held down, this is all we're gonna do. We're gonna rub it back and forth and just keep an eye on our lines to make sure that we don't go in there and just move around and around until we get a perfect circle that lines up with the marks that we made. All right, um, just finished sanding that. I still got a few little kind of goobers on the outside. You can clean those off with your fingernail or some fine sandpaper. Um, the other thing about doing it this way, because you've got a flat plane this way, uh, it makes it better for gluing in to the, uh, that basil. So we're gonna test fit here. There we go, that's what we want. Friction fit, no seam around the outside. Still got some goobers in there. Um, and you've got that hemisphere, not a dome. That's what we want. So that's if you've got access to a um, bandsaw, but the procedure is exactly the same if you've just got a rotary tool. So let's try that with the smaller uh, wheelhouse window. All right, I marked out the uh, wheelhouse window. Now we're gonna put on our PPE, personal protective equipment. And uh, I'm just gonna use a cutoff wheel. Now this is gonna melt the plastic instead of um, really cutting it. But uh, again, just keep out, you know, like a 16th of an inch away from that line and you won't have any problem. <laughs> There we go. Clean off the little melted goobers there and back to the sandpaper. All right, um, installation, very easy. Um, I find it easiest to go from the inside and you just kind of press it out. This is friction fit. And you can see again, a nice hemisphere coming out. That's exactly what we want. Pardon that, this is a, this is a junk piece, this is a, a miscast, but the, everything else is good. That's what you want right there. Secure it in place with a little white glue. Um, if you're gonna go RC, you can use um, a little bit of clear silicone and that'll hold it in place. But you can see it's optically clear, looks really, really good. Um, that's your procedure for cutting the windows out. Now, I think I've made this video in about 10 minutes I got half of them done. It doesn't take too much. Um, it's very doable and it results in a superior product versus those old vacuum formed windows. So if you have any questions, uh, by all means, let me know. Shoot me an email, bob at rc-sub.com. Love to hear from you. And uh, we will leave with that. Have fun building and uh, we'll catch you next time.